What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys the Rocat uh, Kova that I picked up from Best Buy. Um, it's a pretty neat looking mouse, um, it's fairly inexpensive. You can get pick it up under $50 I believe. Um, I'll provide some links at the bottom so you guys can check it out yourself. Um, but today I'm going to be just doing a high level uh, review of the mouse as well as the software and what that uh, customization looks like. There's a lot of different features in there, so let's get started. So looking at the button configuration, there's quite a few buttons um, on this thing. There's the two primary on top, and then there's two secondary right next to it. So one here and one there. And then on the side, you have two here. And then over on the other side, there's also an additional two. So I think that makes uh, 11, and I might be might have been cheating on that number because it says right there. So, um, as you can see, there's a, di a whole bunch of different customizations you can do for each one. Um, they have a couple of neat features, which I really like. Um, as you can see, there's uh, easy easy aim on here. And that what, what that does is if you hold that button, it'll basically drop the DPI of the mouse down to 200. So it makes it a lot easier to control. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to... Uh, press 4 and then moving the mouse you can see and I'm moving this at full speed and then once I let go of the button doing the same movement you'll see how far it's moving now I'm going to press it again and you can see how the movement slows or the DPI drops which is really cool um, the other one is you can uh, uh, press 5 which is easy shift and then it'll basically you can press any of these other buttons so 5 uh, is easy shift so it's disabled here but if you press and held 5 so if I did that and then I clicked on any of these so 1 2 3 4 uh, 6 through 11 or 6 through 12 there's a 12th button oh I guess yeah there are 12 buttons on here my bad um, yeah, so if you did, if you press and held 5, which is for easy shift, you can press a different button and it'll do this action, single action, and then if you press and held this, you have another 11 on this side. Um, so what is that, 22 different buttons right off of this simple mouse. Let's take a look at the profile manager. So you can see on the screen, you have five different profiles. Let's say you play video games, so you have that as your default one, and then two is for video editing. Three, maybe you do some programming, so that's for that. Let's say you do some photo editing, and then fifth, I don't know, um, just browsing the web, web browsing, or something, some other hobby that you need a lot of buttons for. So quite a few in there. Um, you can import profiles, so let's say a game, you know, there's a specific layout of buttons that are best suited for a game um, you can import that the macro manager I haven't really played around with this either but uh, they have a whole bunch of preset games in here um, but you can assign different macros to each of the buttons if that's something you want to do the settings tab up here and this will take you to the the settings of the mouse um, there's some pretty neat settings in here you can assign the scroll speed, you know, normal stuff, uh, horizontal tilt speed, uh, double click speed. And then the DPI switcher, I, I really like these settings. So there's a DPI, dedicated DPI button on the mouse, which is right above the scroll button here. Um, so if I click it, it scrolls through and shows you which one you've selected. Um, you can adjust the settings for each one. You can even shut it off, so if you don't want to ever toggle through this, you can just uncheck it and it won't ever go through that. And you can also auto-apply, so if you're adjusting these settings, you can hit auto-apply and it'll automatically do it instead of hitting apply, checking out the settings. And then if we go over to the advanced settings here, uh, you can adjust the polling rate. Um, you can uh, uh, reset the settings if you have tweaked something and you want to go back to the default. Sound feedback, so if you're using those... Um, easy click keys that I was talking about which is sorry not easy click easy shift 
Um, if you want to know that the buttons were pressed and settings were applied, you can have sound feedback based on that. Um, let's go on to the illumination. This is pretty neat. Um, the intelligent lighting system will auto determine what the light should be based on the game that you're playing or whatever the uh, screen is. So I'll leave this on here. You can pause the video at this moment if you want to read through that. And that's it. Or you can uh, adjust the brightness of it too. So let's see if I can zoom out enough so you can see the mouse. Ah, how do I do this? Oh, duh. Okay, so as I was saying, the auto apply, you want to do this so it changes real time. Uh, my, sorry, the camera is flickering because it's updating the light on the screen and it's throwing my camera off so you can't really see it, but it, trust me, it, it adjusts it. Um, you, you also have a fully lit, so if you don't want the color to automatically change, you can set it to fully lit and then customize a the theme and then the speed that it toggles through on the lights. Breathing, which is basically like throbbing, I guess. Or strobe. No, I don't want to say strobing, but it comes in and out, fades in and out. And then blinking is uh, that, which is super annoying. I tried it, and it was like, no, uh, no. So that's that. Um, they also have keyboards too. I don't have their keyboard. I have the Corsair keyboard here, um, which I have the rain effect going on right now. But they do have keyboards, and I'm assuming the similar settings are on their keyboards as well. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this mouse, if you have it. Um, I just got it, so let me know how you guys like it, if you have it already. Um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, and subscribe, so when I add more videos, you guys can be notified. Have a good day. See you next time.